all three times, I mean, all two times we came up here. So uh, today we're going to feel each other uh, excitement and joy. Coach, talk about when you have kids that's two sport athletes coming from football because it takes a while for them to get in the rhythm and, and get acclimated to, to basketball shape and shoot the ball and whatnot. Uh, talk about how y'all was able to overcome that and, and still be able to, you know, have a good season and, and get to the top 20 and, and win it. Um, I mean, the, tra tra the transition is is not as hard as I think people think it is, and it, it's really easy because uh, when you when you hear football coach and the head basketball coach, you, the 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 discipline and the teaching is almost the same. Uh, it's just it's just putting in in the uh, <laughs> the basketball plays. Uh, other than that, everything is pretty much the same. They get the same discipline. They get the same structure. So we just we just transfer that energy over. For the players. Coach, you touched on it a little earlier. Talk about uh, what this championship means for the Franklin community as a whole. Oh, just based on the just based on the uh, the look in the, in the in the stand, it means a lot to not just Franklin. I think it means a lot to the whole St. Mary Parish because uh, you got a lot of these a lot of these older guys and a lot of these older people that uh, graduated from Franklin High, even though they may or they, they the kids may attend another school. Franklin City High School was the the main school, so they, they bleed corner and gold, so it, it doesn't just affect Franklin, I believe it affects the whole St. Mary Parish. I know you two guys are seniors up here, just explain to me, I mean, you made history today out there on the court, is this the perfect way to end your high school basketball career? <coughs> definitely, it's definitely, uh, it feels good. I cried a little bit, I don't know about them, but I cried a little bit. <laughs> This is for both the seniors up there. Can you tell us how Coach Johnson impacted your life as a person and a athlete? No matter what time, what day it is, what you got going on, he coming. He coming, and he he he's like a father figure, guys. He go, he go work, he go work us. He go take care of us. Anything we need, he coming. And that's for the other coaches too. Yeah, uh, cold coaching style. We're not just building student athletes; they're building young men. To the players, I know the model this season was unfinished business, right? Yes, you know, what, what was the the off season workout guide for you for you guys? What was the focus when y'all weren't on the court that got you to this point? We went running. <laughs> we did a lot of running. Five, for first five in the morning. morning. Five in the yeah, morning. Shots before school. Before school, we get up four thirty. Get in the gym for about 30 to 45 minutes, get up shots, and then go home, take a shower, no excuses. We want to win a state championship, we have to, no excuses. Hey, Coach, have you watched that uh, that game film from the final last year? I watched that. I watched that so many times. Me and him watched that together so many times. Any more questions? Coach, I know he's not here, but Trayshawn had a big game. He's named most outstanding player. Just talk about his performance tonight and how key it was to this. Uh, that's my solid assassin. He don't say much. You won't know he in the room, but he's a workhorse. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I, I I get to get that guy back uh, one more year. So uh, I think I don't think y'all see the best of him yet. Any more questions? Can I get your names? Jason Johnson. Jacqueline Caesar.